still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. An outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. 0-1 oh again, and he's at 100% on first pitch strikes, now in the middle innings of this one. No wonder he's pitched so well. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. And after that four-run inning really broke this thing open, now as a pitcher you have a luxury of going right after guys. You don't have to worry so much about making that perfect pitch. If you give up a hit, big deal. You've got a cushion behind you. David Ortiz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. High and deep to left center field. Gone! A solo home run for David Ortiz. His first homer here in the series, and they're on the board. It's 6-1. to one. Well, with the hole that they dug themselves here early in the ballgame, it's definitely going to be a long road back. But we've seen stranger things happen, and who knows? Maybe we'll look back on this home run as the one shot that got the huge comeback started. Stepping in now, Rusne Castillo. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 416 feet, the estimate on that last home run. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And that's in there as well. 0-2 now. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gordon's after it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. First baseman, Henley Ramirez. Henley Ramirez will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. The 0-1 on its way. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. Popped high in the air. Hosmer is there for it. And the inning is over. One for the Sox thanks to the big blow by David Ortiz. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Royal Six and the Red Sox one. Christian Colon will stand in here as he'll get things started for the Royals in their half of the sixth. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Drilled to the right side. Speared on the dive. Not in time. 
Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Almost got him after the great stop, but it's a base hit, and the leadoff man's on to start the inning. In now is Lorenzo Kane as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to shore. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Well, you could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. Russell Daniels will step in. A ground out victim as last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And a pitch out. Yeah, Nothing on. doing, though, and that's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. Why not? Make him get dirty. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Thankfully, he's, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be OK to try and continue. Eric Hosmer ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. And he'll lay off a first pitch sinker, missing down and in for a ball. One and oh. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Betts. Ranging back for the track to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. A two-run home run off the bat of Eric Hosmer. His second of the game as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game, and it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. As he'll hit a ground ball here to the right side. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Yeah, just a nice job of hitting that time. You can see he's got a strong top hand there, and he just hooks this one into the hole for a two-out single. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez, as he swings and hits this one foul off to the right and out of play. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. That's popped up now towards short right field. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two run home run. The 2 3 4 hitters now to start the seventh. It's the Royals eight, and the Red Sox one.